All right, there's four or five states that have it that is completely illegal. All right, and there's other states that are on the yeah. coast. There's like, okay, medicinal or recreation yeah. use up until a certain amount, X, Y, and Z. So it's yeah. not yeah. even yeah. fully legal yeah. in the United yeah. States. Now, yeah. this isn't an issue about the United States. This is what people have to understand. This is a world yeah. issue. Yeah. And the place they're holding the event, it is illegal. Yeah. All right, there's no gray line, blue line, there's yeah. no black line. It is flat out illegal. In those states. So what are we talking about here? You're trying, to, you're trying to change the world of the United States. Now, if it mattered about the Olympic trials, it would be fair game. She probably wouldn't have got popped. In fact, she didn't get popped when it was time for the Olympic trials. But when it was time to go right, back to Japan, she got popped. In the world, marijuana is like not like the United States, right? Legalization, legalization in the world is pretty rare. Right? Okay. So now, the United States isn't the world, and I would venture to say the NBA, for the most part, isn't the Olympics. So what happens in the NBA that happens in the NBA is not the Olympics. See, the arrogance of some of you Americans. This is the arrogance of some of you Americans. Right? You assume the rest of the world wants to be like you, and they're looking at you failing. They're looking at you goofing up. They're looking at you with tattoos all over your face. They're looking at you, and they're thinking you're trying to strong. This is what the rest of the world thinks of you. And you validate it by trying to do something that is only matters pretty much in your country. The rest of the world ain't flying with your ignorance. Now, you assume the rest of the world wants to be like you, but the rest of the world only wants you what you produce, and they can care less about the rest of the other. Okay? In fact, here's the deal. If they caught, and as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the weed, if they caught her after she won the, the gold medals, I would I could care less. I could care less if she was smoking a pound. All right, she was smoking a big old ganja. All right, ganja pile. I could care less after she won the Olympics. I could care. I would say that probably, probably not a smart thing to do in terms of her sponsors. But after she won the medals and she smoked it up, I could care less. But people want to come up these Americans. Nobody's gonna get hurt. You think, uh, you think uh, the the world wants to be like you? They don't want to see people decline in this particular way. They don't want to see the agenda take over. So you might think weed is not a big deal, but the rest of the world certainly does. And that's how it works, because we're not talking about the United States. We're talking about a worldwide event. As a matter of fact, uh, in order to change the rule, you will need 205 Olympic committees in each country that represents, uh, that participates in the Olympics. 205 countries would have to change the rules on weed. Um, let's talk about things that ain't ever gonna happen. Let's talk about things that ain't, you're gonna need 205 Olympic governing bodies to change the rule. And the United States is one, all right? And Jamaica is two. So let's cut the BS. It ain't gonna happen today. It ain't gonna happen tomorrow. You're gonna need decades to go by before 205 countries agree that weed is just a plan. Okay, so let's get real. Let's kick the bullshit. All right, we're not here for bullshit. We're here to win. Now, most equivalencies, here's the next thing. Well, imagine that. They won't let a woman smoke weed, but they'll let a woman compete against men or a man compete against woman as a trans. Guys, you voted for stuff like this. Do you realize this? You push these agendas. You voted for Biden. You voted for all these politics. And now you're going to complain. See, you're eating your own now. You're eating your own. You're going to use that false equivalency. One doesn't have to do with the other at all. At all. It is a clear rule over here. There they already been working decades to bend and break the rule. Remember the girl? Uh, uh, the girl, she was an African girl. All right, she was kind of on the fringe of being trans or, or hermaphrodite or whatever it was. And they pushed it for 12 years. So now they get to the point now where it's in, it's late, it's ready to go. Nobody's been pushing the weed thing uh, for more than 10 days. Okay? So you guys let her do that for the last 12 years and you ignored it. That's why they have trans in the Olympics right now. Not only that, many of you got jobs today that you would lose right now if, if marijuana was in your system. Most of you guys would have uh, jobs that you would lose today if you had marijuana in your system. So what are we talking about? So she can run with it, but you can't go for it. Who did you vote for in the end? That's the reality of the situation. And now, listen, in terms of the young women here, uh huh. No weed heads or no weed heads. If there's a weed in here, he goes nuts. All right, you're not going to hear this bull crap. You're not putting anything about it. This has nothing to do with it. All right, I'll just push that issue to the side. Yeah, the girl's name is Castor Semenya. 
somebody's in here. Is that a man or woman? I can't tell. Go up. If you want to be ahead of the game, always stack money and have available resources. You got to, man. I know you want to live minimalist. I know you don't want to chase money. You might not be a capitalist, but uh, nothing's going to change. You're going to need money. And you're always going to have to be prepared for Murphy's Law. And your budget, and I talked about this in the Conquer program, which reminds me, my courses sell ends today. You can still watch the courses after you purchase them. But okay, the round three, sell ends seven, today, seven, 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 and you have no control. Now let's just smoke it away. Stomach and back is nice and tight. Make sure to breathe. Always have extra Take money to get yourself out of that hole. So shout out to you. One. Last one, JP says. JP says, when I was in the Marines, they it's told us that. ahead of time they would test our P and we still got busted. I was 18 years old. They knew better. No excuses for Shakar. No excuses for Shakar. Okay. All right, first of all, yeah. I'm not going to get into the name. The message is going to be too busy. The purple likes really going to be mad. Go and the name our kids, not Bring resume, but go for names. Go and they can still win in life. She better be jumping a basketball or running 100 meters in 10.8 seconds. All right, let's see here. Let's get into point number two. Point number two. It's blue. Excuse me. You can be a loser, but you want to win. Down. And then all of a sudden, you can be a oh, man, Come on, man. You can win. It's fun. I didn't say you can. Next one, but you can sure get ready for uh, 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 like the opportunities. Lawn lawn. They had a table on the ground. Now, on the table with in terms foot. of excuse, we Grab heard just about right this hand, with this story alone the from men, from women, right from real lights, from people who are not good at their job. From NBA players. I mean, NBA players came out from for goodness sake. Now, as soon as someone yeah, holds people accountable, they start beatboxing. Good. See this movement that Lisa has? It's really, really important. You back. Got a nice line here. Anytime it's time to be accountable, everybody start beatboxing. What even disappoints me is that the pro athletes, the football players, the basketball players, the commentators, the ESPN speaking heads, they came out and started virtue signaling. They came out and started virtue signaling. That means, like pressure is going to change to 105 governing bodies. Like pressure is going to turn over to Tokyo. What did uh, what was the new thing? What did Patrick Mahomes say? What did the Kansas City Chief quarterback say about we that matters in Japan? Oh, I can't believe the the MVP of the Super Bowl. This is what Japanese governing body is thinking right now. All right, imagine you're the Japanese governing body of the Olympics. You got people trying to put on the damn Olympics over here. You got 205 countries coming in for the C19. You're trying to run the events, run it properly. Uh, what did the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback say? Not a damn thing that matters. See, you Americans are so arrogant. Super duper arrogant. Super duper arrogant. You think that matters? You think we matter? Here we go. You think this little marijuana stuff we doing over here matters? Set little hole in the top. In this work, in this in this situation right here. Okay. If she did. Run. Let's just say they fell under pressure. The What's going to happen is if they did let her run, right everybody that lost any event that, that she participated in will get contested immediately. Because in my governing body, where I came from in my country, I had to, I had to follow the rule. Now, they changed the rule after you got popped, after you got busted, and they let you run. Now, they let you run. I'm going to say this is a, it's a contested run. Because I followed the rule over here. And I'm, I can say that it gave you an advantage. I can say that. Now you have the whole damn Olympics. Uh, the, the contest. Every single event. Every single event. Now you have it up in the air. No governing body. No. They're not going to do that. It's dumb. It's dumb to change the rule for one person and then every other athlete had to follow that rule. Now every other event is going to be contested. Right to there. Right to there. Good. 